hello guys um welcome to another video um i decided to make some different kind of content for today uh i'm going to be making a tutorial really um so far i've only done tutorials on uh like anime characters and that but today today i'm going to make it a tutorial that hopefully will help you to kind of evolve as an artist well, it helped me, so I hope it will have the same kind of result with you. So I'm going to draw a male face on this side and the female face on this side, and we'll kind of try to point out uh, the differences. Sorry for the shadows and that uh, for my hands, but I have to get some better lighting, lightning, uh, lighting. Uh, but I can't do it now, so yeah, just have to bear with me. So. Uh, as always, uh, I always start with a circle, which is a bit of a reference point for my drawings, just how I learned to draw faces and heads, well, and then faces. It doesn't have to be a perfect, perfect circle. You just make sure to really outline the, the area you really need. If that makes sense. So as I'm going to draw, I'm going to start with the male, um, and I'll try to point out the the main differences uh, of when you you draw a male with a female. Most of these are going to be generalizations, because uh, obviously there's a lot of um, kind of characteristics that you can take from both females and males uh, but I'm going to use the most uh, used ones I guess when it comes to illustration and uh, that so yeah the, again this line is just for these lines I'm going to draw just for points of reference it doesn't matter how long the lines are it just matters that they Kind of meet at the center here and then you're going to draw another line here kind of divide this semicircle again so as you might have seen by the title i'm not focusing on anime because these have some different uh things that go along with those specific styles so i'm i'm going to be focusing uh, mainly on uh, more comic uh, comic style uh, a bit more realistic I guess so males usually have uh, a wider uh, jaw a jaw and a chin even um, when it comes to illustration so I'm going to start with that I don't want to exaggerate it I want it to, to look like a person but I don't also don't want it don't want it to be really chiseled so I just want it, I just want to make it wide at least wider than I would make the one on a female uh, the other thing as well is the neck it usually tends to be wider as well even, even though it doesn't really uh, matter too much for this one since we mainly be focusing be, uh, be fo focusing on heads and faces um, okay So, I want to. I would want to make um, the eyes uh, not very curvy. I'd want to make them a bit more like rectangles, like this. So, again, I, I drew these lines so I, I kind of know where, how how far apart they they need to be from the center. Okay. So I'm just going to draw something like this. 
I don't want to make the eyes too big either because I don't want to exaggerate too much. So I'm just going to draw something like that. Something like this. You might want to make them a bit smaller. I think I went too big. Uh, let me just fix that up. Now I would go for the pupils. Usually, when you look at the, the pupils, they don't fill up the whole uh, thing. They usually. Mo the, most the, of the most times the top of the pupil is covered by the the eyelid, and you can only you can only see most of the bottom. Sometimes you you don't really see the bottom, but, but most times you can. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw them like this. These really help to portray like more neutral ex expressions as well because the eye isn't very wide open those are usually for more expressive uh, well, emotions and that so I'm just going to draw something very simple like this and fill a piece up like that so those would be the eyes the nose would be somewhere like around the, the mouth, somewhere here. I'm going to draw the, the eyebrows, which are usually, again, just generalizations. They are, they, they tend to be thicker. So I'm going to draw something like this. Now, obviously, you do not need to follow each and every rule. Um, well, they're not rules. Um, each and everything I'm pointing out here. These are simply um, properties, I guess, that you, you see a lot in drawings like these. So I made some thick eyebrows just because don't necessarily need to be that thick to be honest but I'm gonna leave them like that uh, I want to make a quite sturdy nose uh, as well um, so more po more pointy instead of uh, round so I pick up from the tip here I would go on to the nostrils I'm, I, I always make them well I guess you tend to make them darker because they are holes so if you want to portray depth and shading, you would want to make them darker. So I would do something like that. Which would be enough. Some people like to have these lines. I don't really do it too much, but I'm just going to do it now. Because why not? Make this darker if you want to. Okay, moving on to the mouth. So when it comes to comics, the lips tend to be a lot more realistic uh, than, as an example, if you compare them to anime, which are usually just lines, you know what I mean? Uh, with like something like that. That, that. That's what you would see a lot in anime. But if I would, draw a male mouth for a comic. I'll draw something more like this. I'll, I would put a bit more emphasis on the, the upper lip as an example. Not making them too thick because that, that would look a bit weird. But yeah, adding some shading. Like that. I'm 
and that would be pretty much enough for a mouth. So the, the lips tend to be thinner than when compared to a, a woman's, and you'll see when I get to the woman. And something like that, if you want. So yeah, that would be a male. So now moving on to a female. Again, generalizations. Women in comics tend to be, uh, well, their necks and their, uh, the, the jaws and the chins. Um, well, the chin tends to be uh, more, pardon me, uh, pointy, and the jaws softer as well. They tend to be a bit more curvy. So it would be something like this. Of course, when it comes to like uh, superheroes and that, uh, they're usually portrayed as very, very strong. So the you wouldn't really see this too much. Um, but yeah. Something like this would be just enough. I don't want to exaggerate and make it too pointy or too smooth because yeah, there is still bones in there. They are not made of jelly. And again, the neck tends to be thinner like this. I'm just going to draw the ears now as well. Just so I can focus on the rest of this stuff after. That's the nose. The mouth would be somewhere there. And we'll start with the eyes. So, again, I'll make these lines to see how far apart they need to be. So, I'm going to make the yeah, eyes a bit, uh, a bit pointier, uh, but rounder in a way as well. So I'll do something like this. So pointy uh, on the end, that end. This is why digital art comes very handy because I could just use that eye, flip it and put it right there. So much easier. So I guess something like that looks fine. So again, uh, pupils starting from the top. Uh, this time you'll see that the eyes are more wide open so I, I'm going to show more of the pupils I'll even make them a bit uh, bigger as well if you compare them these will be bigger I usually do this so I can see the whole pupil and it's easier to find the middle of it some lines up here okay so the eyebrows eyebrows tend to be thinner as well so I'm going to draw something like this so the nose again I pointed out that when I drew males, I like to make the nose a bit uh, sturdier, I guess. Uh, so for the female, I will make it a bit rounder.
it is pretty much the same thing. But if I went for that design, I would make make it somewhat like this. No. I I usually uh, make the middle uh, a bit darker and the ends darker as well as you can see there but this time I'm going to make the lips uh, thicker as if she had some, like some kind of uh, lipstick in that I'll make them thicker Well, I guess. Put some more shading on the upper lip again. Like that. I can now make a draw this line to uh, emphasize the, the chin doesn't doesn't really look that good so I'm just gonna erase it and that would be pretty much it So, I, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Yes, sir. Yes, um, sir. I was thinking, yes, sir. Yes, I mentioned uh, eyebrows and that. And I think they're really important because they, they can really change the, the whole mood of the drawing. Uh, just according to the, the position that they're in. So if you'd like me to, I can make a tutorial on uh, expressions and that. And how using uh, eyebrows can really benefit your work. So if you'd like me to do something like that, leave it in the comments and let me know. All right, if you enjoy this video, uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.